Welcome everybody, this is Dr. Nick Barnes, your local Maximize Living Chiropractor here in the St. Louis region, bringing you guys truth about health and healing. And, and uh, these webinars are something that we started um, over the past few months to really uh, reach the unreached, get out in the community even more than we already do. We do do live events in the, in the community, such as Dinners with the Doctor program, uh, these advanced workshops, we do health fairs, corporate wellness, and even church programs to really get out there face to face and, and give people hope um, and truth about health and healing. Uh, we're also all over social media uh, and really even uh, we have a, we're on the radio on 97.1 on Sundays at 8 o'clock, uh, 8 a.m. And so make sure you tune in there, get plugged in. But guys, I wanted to introduce you to our advanced workshop. It's on toxicity. Uh, right now, more than ever before in history, we are being exposed to um, toxic levels that uh, are pretty un unprecedented. We've never seen this much toxic load um, in our in our culture, in our environment. And, and honestly, sadly, it's getting worse. And so, you know, my biggest thing for you guys is I, I hope and pray that you can take away three things. That's Three things that you can literally ch do today uh, to change your health for the future, change your, your family's health, maybe kids, even grandkids, right? So depending on the level of influence that you have, the information we're going to discuss is, is going to really um, be really eye-opening. Uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, right? So so let's get right into it, guys. We know right now if you walk down the, walk down the, the cleaning aisle at the grocery store, I mean, you can get high from the level of toxic exposure that you're just the fumes you're getting through the bottles and and through the products that they have and so uh, we know this is affecting not just adults it's affecting kids and even in the womb it's affecting fetuses you know unborn children and so we want to make sure we're really getting to that population uh, that may be impacting uh, or you may be able to have a chance to impact in your life okay so guys if you're not familiar with who we are we are a, a, a chiropractic health center here located in Rock Hill at the corner of Manchester and McKnight. Um, you, you can find us on, on, online um, at healthfromwithinstl.com. But, but really, at the end of the day, we go over what it takes to transform the way that you view and manage your health in order to prevent and reverse sickness and disease so that you can live to your God-given potential. I mean, that's why we have an office. That's why we do all the things we do in the community. And we, we get back to the five essentials. These are not just five good ideas, they're actually essential for your health. And so you can see this the five different icons here. Uh, we got the mindset, we have nervous system, we have nutrition, exercise, and detoxing. I gotta tell you, being in practice for almost nine years now, we haven't seen anybody come into the office um, who's nailing all five of these. It's, it's very rare, right? I mean, usually most people aren't doing any of these. And so we know that we gotta start with the foundation and we start from the inside out. That's why I'm a chiropractor. Because we start from above down and inside out, which is the spinal cord, the brain, spinal cord, and nervous system. We know that if our spine is not healthy, our, our, our nervous system cannot function and heal at 100%. And if our nervous system cannot heal, since that controls everything, I can give you the best nutrition program in the world. I can give you the best exercise program in the world. I can give you the best detox program in the world. But if your brain can't communicate with every cell, tissue, and organ of the body, we're missing the big picture here. So we got to get back to the nervous system, start from the inside and work our way out. And so some other ways you can find us outside of going to our website is, is go to Facebook. I mean, guys, we are on Facebook. You can look me up personally as Nick Barnes. My uh, personal public figure page is Dr. Nick Barnes, but also our, our health center page. We put a lot of great information out there, uh, recipes. We, you can get plugged into our events through there. It's Health From Within Family Chiropractic. And guys, I'm going to be having you guys text in um, any questions you may have. I'm going to have you text in if you want to make an appointment, a new patient appointment. And I'm also going to have you guys text in with your email address because I'm going to be able to send out a healthy homemade spring cleaning uh, recipe list, which is amazing. So I, I believe it has about eight to ten different recipes that you can actually make at home uh, that you can clean your house with and it saves you tons of money and it's healthy for you, which is great. So go ahead and text in right now with your email address and I'll be able to send that to you. The number to text in is 314-323-7214. You can see at the bottom of the screen there, it's 314-323-7214. So when we look at this, this next picture here, um, we're seeing uh, something in front of us. Some of you are already picking it out. I'll give you a couple seconds to figure out what it is before I show you what it is. But the purpose of me showing you this is that there's things that are right in front of us that we buy week in, week out 
that are actually toxic and we don't know it yet, right? And it's just something we've gotten into a pattern of buying, whether it's uh, shampoo, whether it's a thing, stuff you clean your house with, things that you clean your body with, and, and things like toothpaste and deodorant and things like that. So let me show you what this picture is. It's, it's a grass-fed cow. Now, I don't know if it's grass-fed or not, but it's now that you see it right in front of you, if we go back to the other picture, before you may not have picked out that animal, now you can see it, right? So my goal for you is to figure out what are these things that we have to look for ingredients-wise that we have to uh, change immediately. Not tomorrow, but today. Let's change it today. So these things that we're used to, Johnson's and Johnson's baby soap, shampoo, you know, this is something that our parents thought was healthy for us. Um, and over the past 30 years, it went from one of the best products apparently for babies to now it's one of the worst products for babies. They've added more chemicals, more preservatives, uh, more agents, cleaning agents that are actually harsh on the skin. Windex is, I, I put that up here because it's an example of what just people are used to. I know my my family always bought Windex, right? So it's just one of those things that you, you just get used to buying because apparently it, it works the best. That's what we think. Um, and so marketing, they're marketing to us that they've done a good job of building a great brand, but at the end of the day, we got to switch that out to these are chemicals that we're being exposed to in our home. Uh, Colgate, Crest, Aquafresh, you name it when it, from a toothpaste standpoint. Listen, there's a few that are good for you, but the mainstream ones that you can get at the, the typical store or grocery store, we have to stop buying what we've always bought. So now we got to start changing what we have to do. And, and before I go into the, the how to change, I always want to go into the why to change. We are we are seeing some statistics now that are occurring that are um, they're skyrocketing. They're they're affecting us when it comes to toxic load. And this is a short list of some of the things that we're seeing right now. Obesity among children and adolescents has tripled since the 80s. Autism is now it says one in 66 children. It's it's one in 50 boys, uh, which I believe autism gets back to this this a toxic overload. Uh, 9.6 million children are taking psychotropic drugs, and that was in 20, 2007. So we know that that number's most likely gone up in the past 10 years, and so that's not good. I know when I was a kid, when most of you were kids, when when if there was bullying happening, if you didn't pass a class, if you know you were unhappy, you just had you just had to deal with it, right? I mean, now you, you kids are if they have a sad day, they're given a drug, and and I think it's just it's over prescri- over prescribing. And kids are not learning how to cope with life. So what's going to happen in 20 years when they have a mortgage and a job, like, and kids themselves? Like, it's just scary to think that people are relying or people are allowing their kids to rely on a drug just to get through the day. Now, I get it. There's a place for it sometimes, but there's definitely an overuse there. It's an abuse that's happening in our country. One in three American adults struggle with insomnia. Also, one in five American children suffer with, suffer with insomnia. One in 11 children have asthma, and that number is skyrocketing too. I believe it's now one in eight over the past couple of years. And the epidemic that's happening is hormones, hormones and thyroid disease, not only for women, but actually for men now. I'm seeing testosterone tanking no matter what type of exercise program they have, no matter what type of food they're eating. Their testosterone is going down. Women's hormones are completely out of whack. And thyroid diagnosis, thyroid disease diagnosis is, is, is going up. It's not going down. And so we live in a toxic world, guys. There was a study done in, in 1999 uh, by the CDC, and they said, okay, in 10 years, we'll retest the body burden, and we'll see where things are. Now, since 99 to 2009, that's 10 years, there was 219 more chemicals in people's blood and urine. 75 never seen before toxic chemicals. And so we know it's just getting worse, right? We're seeing BPA, arsenic, triclosan, which triclosan is the number one ingredient Enhanced sanitizer, so um, yeah, you, you may think you're killing germs, but also um, you're, you're weakening your immune system, um, and that's co- considered to be carcinogenic, right, causing cancer. And so we know things are getting worse. Now, there's two types of toxins. There's exogenous and endogenous. Exogenous are the things that we, we can control, right? Now, we can't control everything, so I just want you to guys re- remember our body's dynamic. Um, it can It's always healing. It's always detoxing for us, but at the end of the day, we don't want to over toxify ourselves, right? We, we don't want to um, put our body under a stress that is unnecessary if we can avoid it, right? Now, endogenous, we won't talk too much about today, but endogenous means that our body's been exposed to a chemical and our body's done the best as it can to break it down, right? And so now there's these meta- metabolic byproducts that have never seen, been seen before because our body's trying to, trying to detoxify, but it just can't. 
And so what are some sources of toxins? If we take a look and see what's one thing that most of us are, are just proactively toxifying our body with is food. You know, the FDA has approved over 3,000 artificial food additives, preservatives, and colorings. We have Franken food now. I mean, it's, it's pretty scary. The average person in America consumes up to 150 pounds of additives, meaning chemicals, added to our food, so food and, and uh, food manufacturing, and that's every year. And, and so we just know, that, like, okay, we're really waking up. I think now more than ever before, there's more access to healthy food, healthy food stores, uh, nutritional stores, things like that. But we're really um, missing the mark because there's still a lot of people, maybe you listening or, or watching this, that um, you just aren't aware of the chemicals that are in our food. Now, I, I grew up in a household where, you know, if I, uh, I was an athlete, so if I, if I uh, got a goal in hockey or if I hit a home run or uh, scored a touchdown in football, my parents would reward me with food. I know some of you may be watching this, and, and really, it's any emotion that I had, good, bad, or indifferent, there was food attached to that, right? Now, one of the things I would always want, and I asked for it, was strawberry milkshake. Uh, now, mine was usually from McDonald's. This, this example is here from, it's from Burger King. And so you can see these ingredients here. This is, this is not even all the list, but, but what's scary is this. In a Burger King strawberry milkshake, there's, there's, no, there's, there's no strawberries in there, and there's no milkshake. Or there's no milk, I'm sorry. So in a Burger, uh, Burger King strawberry milkshake, there's no milk, and there's no strawberries. I, I think we should probably <laughs> change that a little bit. Now, here's a list of some things we also have to watch out for, especially um, you know, when it comes to the toxins in our food. One is sugar. The average American consumes, listen to me here, the average American consumes a five-pound bag of sugar every 10 days. To me, that's just, that's just gross. Now, the sad part is, is this. It's hidden from us. It's not just through donuts and, and, uh, you know, and, and cookies and candy anymore. It's hidden in processed food. So you know, more than sugar that's a toxin to our body is, is sugar substitutes, right? And so sugar substitutes such as aspartame and sucralose, the, the, the blue, yellow, um, and, and green packets, those things are just super toxic for our body. So we have to get rid of that, and our brain becomes addicted to that. You know, the sugar substitutes are, are considered excitotoxins. Literally, they're neurotoxic. They affect our brain and spinal cord negatively, and they are toxic byproduct that was accidentally found in a lab, and, and it's more potent than sugar. It's more potent than high fructose corn syrup, and it allows food manufacturers um, to, to say that these are zero carbohydrates, zero sugar um, on the box or the, on the bag and, and, or the protein uh, bottle, right? So better start looking at the ingredients. See, the answer to food is, in the, is the, in the ingredients. It's not on the front of the label. It's not even in the nutrition facts. The answer to food is in the ingredients. Another thing that's a toxin is any colors and dyes, red number 40, blue number 5, yellow number 6, we shouldn't be consuming that. It is also considered a neurotoxin, excitotoxin. It literally causes, uh, for kids, it can cause asthma, allergies, ADHD, even autism flare-ups. Uh, for, for adults, it affects us in anxiety, depression, and lack of sleep, right? So that's, that's uh, epidemics right now that are occurring. MSG is monosodium glutamate. MSG is, uh, is found as a flavor enhancer in many packaged foods. Um, and even things like Chinese food, right? I mean, it's pro-inflammatory. Um, this does can cause autoimmune diseases to flare up, such as MS. Um, and so we better watch out for this because it's a neurotoxin as well. And and um, same thing, it affects it affects our, our ability to, to function, um, and it affects our, our focus, uh, energy patterns, even sleep patterns. So we, we got to be careful with that. Now, we also know animal proteins can be very toxic unless we're getting grass-fed organic, antibiotic-free, hormone-free, because right now the health of our animal, the products that they produce, and even just eating that animal protein, um, it's ridden with vaccines, it's ridden with hormones, steroids, antibiotics, you name it, in the past 30 years, uh, the health of our animal proteins has, has, has been on a steady decline. Also, with the amount of chemicals that are sprayed on our on our produce products, we you know, buying all organic is, is, is really what we should be doing, but it's, we know it's difficult to do sometimes, right? So um, I'm going to send you guys, if you guys text in right now my, my, uh, to my phone with your email address, I will send you a clean 15 and dirty dozen list. And what this shows you is, is that every year this changes. It's a list put out by all the agric agricultural departments, and it says these are the healthiest produce to buy, non-organic, and these are the produce you need to be buying organic. So it's called our Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen list. 
if you pick up your phone and text in with your email address to 314-323-7214, that's 314-323-7214, we'll send you our clean 15 and dirty dozen list, okay? Now, also, the air that we breathe has become more toxic, but honestly, the indoor air is getting worse. This is from the EPA. It says that that our indoor air is 100 times more polluted. Now, some of you are asking, well, why is that? Well, I thought it, outside air could be worse because all the chemicals they spray on our, on our produce and um, you know the pollution and everything else that we're exposed to. But honestly, it's what we're doing to ourselves inside our home that's making it worse. And most homes, apartments, condos, whatever it is, they're tighter, which means that um, the insulation has, has really kept our 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 houses or, or condos or apartments from actually breathing, like letting that drafty uh, wind come in and, and bad stuff go out, right? And so we got to realize that we got to be filtering our air to, to some degree. And so there's air filtration systems that you can get online, very cost effective. You can get even like a nightstand, um, nightstand size ones where you actually just, it's like a tabletop one that you put on your nightstand and we have one of those in every room of our every room of our home to help with the air purification so you got to make sure you're you're not putting the glade plugins in those are toxic for you got to make sure you, you you're burning healthy candles um and, and you know one of the things that i that i remember is you know whenever you're cleaning the dishwasher or unloading the dishwasher as to say and all those fumes come out right the steam comes out I think it smells so good, right? But but that is just 100% chemicals going into your home. And we got to really step back and say, okay, am I getting my vents checked? So I always recommend getting your HVAC unit vents checked um, about every two years, right? Now, getting checked doesn't mean they have to get cleaned, but the company that checks them will tell you if it's dirty and, and, and toxic that has to be cleaned. But you got to make sure the indoor air is breathing. But also, too, whenever it's nice out for the 10 days in St. Louis, right, out of the year where you can open up your windows, um, you want to do that as much as you can to get that get your, your house breathing, if you want to call it that. Now, coming back down to, to, to really to simplify this for you guys, there's, there's five top toxins. One is medications. Two is household products. Three is Teflon cookware. Four is tap water. And five is mold and biotoxins. So let's, let's go ahead and break this down for you guys. Medications, they are a toxin. I don't care if you have to be on them or not, you're, they are a toxic load to the body. North America makes up 5% of the world's population, but we take 75% of the world's drugs. I don't care if you believe in drugs or not, that's a problem. See, it's not the medical doctor's fault. It's not the pharmacist's fault. It's not the pharmaceutical company's fault. It's just that we listen to those commercials, right? So, you know, you've, you've all seen them, right? The first 15 seconds of a commercial, uh, this drug could save your life. The next 30 seconds is um, it may kill you, and the last five seconds is go ask your doctor for this pill. So what's happening, and what I'm seeing from my medical doctor friends and and, and, and surgeons, that, that people are actually, the, the community is actually coming in and asking for a pill. So they're literally listening to a drug ad to make their health decisions, not even the doctor that's in front of them, right? And so what happens is there's these once miracle cures of these medications now become deadly, like Vioxx, Avandia, HRT. Paxil, tamoxifen, and even antidepressants. Right now, 118 million uh, antidepressants are prescribed, and this is in 2005. So I, I believe these numbers have gotten worse, right? Just with the with the state of our world, and so I think our these 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 medications are skyrocketing, and and the side effects are sometimes worse than the actual problem itself. So we got to make sure that our medications are are being watched by us, not just our doctor. We better ask how long am I on this medication? How do I get off of it? How do I get off of it? Or how do I re- reduce it? What's it for? So we, we have to take responsibility for that and start asking our doctor about these medications. Now, secondly, is household products. There's a couple ingredients here that we're going to go over. So make sure you write these down and look at your, all of your products uh, today or this evening and um, see what your products have in them, right? So one of the biggest uh, toxic loads, uh, ingredients, I should say, that are in your products is called diethanolamine. It's DEA. It's found in over 600 different personal care products, things for up to soaps, lotions, cosmetics, dish detergent, laundry detergent. Um, but DEA has been found to produce cancer in animal studies. So we need to be moving this out, right? We got to get, get rid of this so stuff, okay? Another one is propylene glycol. It's found in antifreeze and hydraulic fluids. It's also found in vaccinations, toothpastes. Um, it's found in deodorants, processed food. It's been linked to kidney damage, uh, liver abnormalities, skin cell growth inhibition, 
damaged cell membranes. That's that's horrible. Immune system deficiency and central nervous system depression. And so, you know what what's happening here is that the, some of these chemicals are being uh, put in our products and we're, we're harming ourselves. A good example of propylene glycol that, that actually shocked me. This is a few years ago. Um, we were at the grocery store and my wife wanted some Edie's ice cream, right? This is a, it's a cheat night, right? Uh, a date night. And, um, we went there and she's like, I want the soft churn kind, the one that doesn't have to sit out and you don't get slowed down from eating it pretty much. Right. And I, I picked it up, looked at the ingredients to see how bad it was. And propylene glycol was in the ice cream. That's why it doesn't fully freeze. I mean, it, it's just it's just absurd to me. So check out the ice cream when you eat it next. Make sure you're, there's no um, antifreeze chemicals that are in there, okay? Another uh, ingredient that you have to watch out for is called sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS. And this is from the American College of Toxic, Toxicology, but um, it's, it's, a, it's a degreaser. And it's found in every soap, shampoo, toothpaste, especially toothpaste. And there's been residues of this found in, in, in the human heart, liver, lungs, and brain. And so... You know, think about that. Our body is, is dynamic and it can detox as much as we possibly can. But if they're finding it in our vital organs, then our body can't get rid of it. So we really have to watch out for that. So there's a couple of websites I want you guys to, to check out. One of them is called healthychild.org. That's healthychild.org. It's a non-for-profit website. You can really put your, put your products to the test. Another one is called ewg, ewg.org forward slash skin deep. And this will allow you to put anything you put on your skin to the test on this website. Once again, not-for-profit website. So check that out. If you guys are wanting to get this information, um, once again, go to our website. Check us out on Facebook. Um, email me if you have any questions. Uh, but the best way to communicate is via text. And so if you are wanting our healthy homemade cleaning products list, so literally we'll give you the list of what you can make at home and some other brands that are going to be good for you to buy. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and text in your email address and we will send you that recipe list, okay? So the number to text in right now is 314-323-7214. 314-323-7214, okay? We'll give you all the things you gotta be buying instead of the junk that you're used to buying, okay? Teflon cookware. Um, this is one that can upset people, so don't turn off the webinar at this point. Uh, but also, don't go throw away all of your Teflon cookware without your spouse knowing. They may, they may be upset at you or me, right? So, Teflon cookware, Teflon cookware was expected to be banned in 2015. Well, they're not banning it yet. They're just changing the products they're making, such as ceramic, right? Ceramic's one of the best brands on the market right now. So, make sure you're buying that. Teflon cookware has been shown to cause disruptions in our hormones causes developmental dislays, delays for children. So it's not good to be cooking your food in that. And the fumes are what are, are really the biggest issue, okay? Now water, water is another issue too. Now, don't mishear me on this, that water is better for you than soda, water is better for, better for you than coffee, water is better for you than, than uh, crystal light or sweet tea or whatever it is. Uh, but we have to be filtering our water to some level. And the reason is because they're adding fluoride to our water, one. Secondly, there's chlorine in our water. And then thirdly is that um, in the 80s and 90s, they said flush your flush your prescription pr prescription pills down, down the toilet. And now they're not able to get this Paxil out of our water system. They're not able to get um, Zoloft out of our water system and, and no matter what they're doing to it. And so we got to filter our water to some level, whether that's a Brita filter, whether that's a whole house filtration system, uh, we got to be filtering our water to some degree. Uh, the World Health Organization uh, disproves the claim that fluoride actually can prevent tooth decay. And so um, fluoride is banned in Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Norway, and Sweden. So it's, it's been shown to actually produce uh, bone decay. And so, and the reason is this, there's naturally occurring fluoride and there's also chemical byproduct fluoride, which is used in most dentist offices and, and usually what's added to our water supply. So you got to you got to be careful for that. There is a video on YouTube you can look up. Um, if you want that video, I can send it to you via via email. Just text in that same number 314-323-7214 with your email address, and we'll send you um, the fluoride truth behind fluoride YouTube video. So email, I'm sorry, text in your email address to 314-323-7214. Okay. Now also. Um, if we're going to get a filter for the water that we're drinking, we, we better get a filter for our, our shower head, right? 
Uh, we need to get a 99% charcoal filter. We can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot, even on Amazon. And listen, guys, my wife gets excited when I change the light bulb around the house, so I would consider myself not very handy. Uh, but I was able to do this for our, our shower head, and it was super easy. It lasts about six months, um, and they, they cost you know around $40. So, I mean, it's something that you should be doing, okay? Especially if you're taking baths or even showers, you know, 15-minute showers equivalent to drinking eight glasses of, of water. And the reason is it's because our body's absorbing that water, right? So we got to be careful for that. Mold and biotoxins. This is another thing. If there's any water damage in your workplace, history, uh, history of water damage in your workplace, um, or where you're living or staying, uh, you really have to make sure that um, there's no mold growing, especially behind the drywall or in your HVAC units. Another thing here, biotoxins such as heavy metals can be found in deodorants uh, such as aluminum. Uh, that, is a, that is a big problem because now they're, they're showing a link between dementia and Alzheimer's and, and aluminum um, or, or heavy metal. Okay, So you really have to start to change out de- your deodorant um, instead of just putting aluminum there. I know we all want to smell like, uh, like roses and not sweat for our entire life, but honestly, when we're toxic, we need to sweat when we're hot. We need to sweat. We got to keep those heavy metals out of our, out of our lymphatic ducts, which are underneath our our armpits. Okay, so we, we want to make sure that we're switching out our deodorant. We want to make sure that there's no heavy metals in our mouth or, or in our teeth. How do you know? Open your mouth and look if there's any dark fillings. Those that is considered mercury and heavy metals. And the problem is this: is that um, there's fumes that come off of that. So there's actually a great YouTube video called "The Smoking Tooth." And it shows you an extracted tooth with, with mercury in it still. And the fumes that come off of it when it's when it's brushed with a toothbrush, when there's heat that's applied to it, and when there's cold that's applied to it. And it's it's pretty shocking and eye-opening. So you got to make sure you're getting to a local dentist. There's only a couple biological dentists here in the this, in this St. Louis region that I know about. Um, and if you want those recommendations, uh, pick up the phone and text in right now. And text in right now with your email address, and I will I'll email you those recommendations and also email you the deodorant recommendations. So just pick up the phone, text in with your email address, 314-323-7214. That's 314-323-7214, okay? So those are the toxins. So that's all the bad news, right? So so this is the good news. Our body's designed to detox. That We have seven detox channels, seven, right? So our skin, our largest organ, is designed to detox. It protects our skin. It protects us from certain uh, elements of the environment, but also with sweating, um, with rashes, it shows us if we're toxic. It shows us if our gut's not healthy. Um, but sweating the, all the toxins out, you don't necessarily want all the toxins to go through your skin. Uh, much, most of it you want to go through your colon, right? Another thing is lungs. So when we breathe in, if we breathe in an allergen or a toxin, we're going to cough it up, right? So we got to listen to our body. If we're coughing, don't stop that cough. Our body's trying to detox. The colon, right? If, if we eat bad food, you've experienced this. It's not very fun, but you're stuck on a toilet, um, sitting on a toilet, or vomiting, right? So our colon and digestive system is designed to detox and, and get rid of waste and byproducts that aren't good for us. Kidneys detox, liver detoxes, lymphatic system detoxes. This is why exercise is so crucial because it, it gives, allows our body to detox rebounding is something I recommend for, for nearly everybody. Um, it's essentially jumping on a mini, miniature trampoline. And the reason why it's so important is that up and down motion is what helps our lymphatic system pump, pump out the toxins, boost our, boost our immune system. That's why like if, now men, you don't do this, but women, like if there's a baby that's crying, you'll, you'll kind of rock the baby or bounce the baby. That's innately been given to you to say, okay, well, the baby's upset. Let's bounce the baby, right? And when you when you rock in or bounce the baby, that lymphatic system starts moving better, right? So if they're if they're crying because they are sick, if they have a fever, this really 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 helps them. Okay, outside of chiropractic, um, the last thing is fat cells. Yeah, fat cells actually detox you, and most importantly is that they prevent the toxins from hurting you further. So if you're super toxic, your body will actually the fat cells will absorb that toxin. And the problem is this, though, is that if you've been toxic for years and maybe you're overweight and you're trying to lose weight, you'll, you'll experience something called weight loss resistance because your body doesn't want to burn the fat cells because they know it's become more toxic. This is why sometimes when people are detoxing or losing weight, what happens is they actually become sick. 
And the reason that they're sick is because they have toxins in their body. They better start detoxing that, right? So we do have specific detox products in our office that you can utilize that help the process. Activated charcoal, uh, precursors for glutathione, which glutathione is the number one antioxidant that's actually produced by our body. But we need precursors through uh, through fruits and vegetables, but, but it's easiest through nutritional supplementation. It's just hard to find that quality product, right? So we do have detox systems. If you want to learn more information about the detox products that we do have, all you have to do is text in with your email address, text in with your email address and say detox product, detox product, and we will send you that information. The number to text in for that is 314-323-7214, 314-323-7214. Now, there are seven known toxin removers. There's pure water, of course, that's important. Fiber, which comes through vegetables and even some carbohydrates. Probiotics, activated charcoal, which is actually one of the products we recommend. Magnesium is another product that we carry in our office that I would recommend, especially liquid form. We also do carry citrus essential oils that really help with the detox process and then potassium. Now, one of the things I recommend that's easy to apply, you can literally start today, is, 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 is get pink Himalayan sea salt. Buy pink Himalayan sea salt, put a pinch of, that, pinch of that in your water daily that helps your body detox. And on top of it, um, it helps your lymphatic system. It helps your lymphatic system flow, um, helps your blood pressure, and it gives you minerals that you may not be getting through other, other, other products. Now, guys, if I give you the best nutritional supplement in the world, if you buy all the best products in the world, um, if I give you um, fiber, probiotics, our detox system, our magnesium supplement, the best citrus essential oils possible, but if your organs are not be able to he- aren't able to heal and function 100%, we're going to be beating our head up against the wall, right? So we have to detox one but more importantly, we got to make sure our body has the ability to function 100%. And there's only one thing that controls that every single organ, cell, and tissue in your body. See, it's not it's not the food that controls your stomach. It's not the stomach that controls the healing of the body, but it's actually your brain. Your brain controls every single cell, tissue, and organ in the body. And our brain, in order to communicate with the cell, tissue, and organ, sends signals down the spinal cord, out those nerves, to those cells and tissues. Right, So right now, for you to be able to hear me right now, the brain is controlling it. For your lungs to be breathing right now, for your heart to beat right now, for your stomach to digest food right now, for your colon to detox right now, your brain is sending signals down your spinal cord, which is within your spine, across those nerves that branch out of the spine, getting to those organs. Okay, So what happens is this. If there's a problem in the spine, if there's damage in the spine, if the spine is misaligned, putting pressure on those nerves, blocking the signals to get from the brain to the body. There's absolutely no way, no matter what exercise program, no matter what nutrition program, no matter what detox program you have, if the brain is not able to physically send signals down the spinal cord across the nerves at 100%, there's absolutely no way you can be healthy. For example, let's say there's damage in your spine from um, overuse and abuse from working out, um, from falls, from traumas in the past, maybe maybe sporting injuries. Maybe you sit at a desk all day. Maybe you have a, pat, a, a history of maybe having one or more car accidents that are now damaging your spine. And you have to have these 345 degree curves from the spine. So let's just say in the neck area, if you lose that curve in the neck and that puts pressure on the nerves that go to the heart and it's blocking 10% of the nerves that go to the heart, therefore your heart's functioning less than 100%. It's functioning at 90%. And if the heart is functioning at 90% for days, weeks, months, or years, there's absolutely no way your heart can experience 100% health and actually it will go in the wrong direction of sickness and disease, right? So if I were, to, if I were a surgeon and I was going to cut the nerve that goes straight to your stomach, what happens to your stomach? It dies. It's not a belief. It's a fact. I mean, that's why neurosurgeons get paid a lot. That's why they have a big insurance policy because if they accidentally clip a nerve that goes to your stomach, your stomach's done immediately, it's not a if and or but. It's it's immediately right. So let's scale that back, and let's say there's damage in your in your mid back that goes straight to your stomach. Your stomach cannot get the function at 100. percent Therefore, it's not healing. Therefore, it's becoming sick, and and you're suffering over time, right? No matter what, no matter what supplement I give you, the stomach will not function at 100%. No matter if you go no dairy, gluten-free, no matter if you have the best exercise program in the world, your stomach, your stomach will not be able to heal. So our body, from the side, has to have these 345-degree curves. And from the back, we got to be completely straight up and down. And the only time we ever get our spine checked is when we're 
sometimes too late when we're in pain, right? And no one's ever correlated the health of your nervous system with your body's ability to detox and function at 100%. And so guys, listen, there's only one way for us to see exactly what's going on in the body, and that's with x-rays. Do not wait till you're in pain to get x-rays, and if you are in pain, you better listen to your body. We can't take over-the-counter medications. We gotta see what's the health of my spine, how do I actually determine what's causing my problems, and how do I correct it? Right, and so guys, this is Beth. Beth is 43 years old. When she when she originally came to the office, she had a, a negative degree curve when it should be positive 45. If you can see that that red arc, that's where her neck should be, and you can see where her neck was. It was going the wrong direction. You guys, she heard me on the radio. She came in. She was hopeless. She was on six medications. She was overweight. She was fatigued. She had sleeping issues, constipation, menstrual problems. And the thing is with, with Beth is that she had the best trainer that I know of here in St. Louis. She had the best nutrition program. She was taking the most expensive supplements, but no one ever told her to, told us to look told her to look at her neck. You guys, her spinal cord and those nerves that should have that curve there was literally being damaged and compressed in that neck area. Listen, what would have happened if she did nothing about this? It would have kept getting worse. It would have kept getting worse. Guys, if you notice, she did not have neck pain. She did not have neck pain. But what was happening is her body was literally dysfunctioning. It was, it was causing sickness and disease in her body to function. See, those nerves in the neck control her hormones. They control her sleep patterns. It controls her digestive system. It controls her... Uh, menstrual cycle, right? It controls her thyroid gland, right? Controlling her blood pressure, even her cholesterol comes from the neck. And so we started to correct her spine. What that means is we started to move her spine in the right direction with specific chiropractic adjustments and specific rehab. You guys, six months later, she went from a negative degree curve in her spine to a 45 degree curve. She gained 100% correction in her spine. Her nervous system is functioning at 100%. She was off two high blood pressure medications she got off three diabetes medications. She was off one thyroid medication. She had more energy, better sleep, better digestion. She lost 35 pounds. Guys, I didn't change her lifestyle. She was doing everything right. She was missing one thing, her nervous system. She was missing her nervous system. So thank God Beth got her life back. She's doing amazing now. And if you guys are watching this and you're like, man, how do I know if I need to come in and see Dr. Nick? How do I know if I got to get my spine checked and get x-rays? Here's some warning signs. Headaches, menstrual problems. High blood pressure, depression, insomnia, sciatica, low back pain. I don't care if it happens once a year or, or once a month. Weight gain, neck pain, dizziness, the inability to lose weight, fatigue, acid reflux, constipation, numbness and tingling, asthma, allergies, frequent colds and infections, right? So if you have any of these warning signs and you're trying to figure out what can, what, where do I start? Listen, I want you guys to detox, but I also know we got to start from the inside out. See, there's no secret pill, potion, or lotion that's ever going to heal you like your nervous system is going to heal you. If your nervous system starts to heal at 100%, amazing things are going to happen. And so if you guys want an opportunity for a new patient appointment, normally it's $140 to come into the office off the street. But if you're watching this webinar right now and you want to see what's going on with your history that's caused you to be where you're at today, where you need to go and get a full exam done, which includes a nervous system scan and x-rays. Normally, it's $140, but if you're listening right now, watching this right now, all you have to do is pick up your phone and call. You just have to call or text 314-323-7214. This way, we can see how healthy your nervous system is and what's causing your spine to not be functioning and causing your body to be dysfunctioning and sick, symptomatic, or diseased. Now, when you call or text in, we will schedule you and take the $40 payment over the phone. The reason that we do that is because if people don't pay, they just don't show up for the new patient appointment. Now, the good news is when you do pay over the phone, there's no additional cost when you come in, right? So all you do is pick up the phone, call or text 314-323-7214. I will schedule you and take the $40 payment over the phone, okay, guys? So make sure you get plugged in with that. Do not just do not ignore your body. Listen to the warning signs that are going on because I know that if the nervous system is healthy, many things are going to be healthy after that. Once again, guys, find us online. We have a great, great website, healthfromwithinstl.com. Go like us on Facebook at Health From Within Family Chiropractic. We are going to continue to be doing webinars and they're going to be changing the topic all the time, right? Um, if you want to get a hold of me via email, my email is drnickbarnes at gmail.com. That's drnickbarnes at gmail.com. And once again, my phone number to text in to get the healthy 
spring cleaning recipe list, which means you can actually make some of the healthy clean products at home. It's going to save you a ton of money, save you time actually from having to go to the store all the time. And um, it's going to save save your health, right? So it's going to help you with your health, right? So the number to text in with your email address is 314-323-7214. 314-323-7214. Guys, I hope this webinar is going to impact your life, impact your family's life. We know that getting healthy, um, the principles are simple. It's just not easy, right? The principles are simple. It's just not easy. We want to make it as easy as possible for you. That's why we have one of the fastest growing health centers here in the Midwest, bringing you guys truth about health and healing in order for you to prevent, reverse sickness and disease so that you can live to your god given potential, guys. We are here for you, and uh, we just want to make sure you make the rest of your life the best of your life. Change generations to come when it comes to health because health is the most important thing in your life. Without health, you don't have anything, right? So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune in next time, guys. Uh, and like I said, follow us online. We just appreciate you guys uh, for the feedback as well. I know we're getting texts and calls um, as we speak. Which is, which is amazing. So uh, just tune in next time. Look for the next webinar and God bless.